So today, what I have with me is Feotech's new model, the Ching. It comes with a set of mini legs that you can fit on there, a little tripod that screws under the bottom. It's kind of a, it's a strange design for a, a gimbal because what we're used to seeing is three axis gimbal stabilization where you've got obviously the pan, the tilt, and then you've got the roll to, to kind of counterbalance when you're kind of going side to side. You would probably look at it and not think that it's a gimbal at all. But I mean, I mean it's pretty funky. It's got a payload of about 3.5 kilograms, which is pretty good. As you can see, I'm controlling it via this remote here, which also attaches to the bottom of it. It's got a little screw bit here, and there's um, some accessories in the bag, which uh, you kind of screw on top of here, and that connects to the bottom. Straight out of the box for me, they were connected uh, pretty much immediately. I just switched them both on, and then immediately I could just like uh, take control. You've got a little bunny, which is fast. It says fast below it, uh, and then hit it again. You've got a turtle for slow. Given some of the test footage, it seems that it's quite workable with or without the roll. I think uh, in more extreme circumstances, maybe you would need that third axis. I mean, what is really great about it is that you have this remote that you can pan with. It basically becomes a, a remote control um, tripod. You know when you want to get those really smooth pans, just like Because it doesn't have the, the third axis, it doesn't have that overarching arm piece that would often uh, get in the way of your, of your monitor. It's a minor thing. It's not really a problem. A lot of people have found workarounds with just like having flip out screens on certain cameras, like with the GH5, for instance. External monitors, obviously very handy to have. I would much rather be using external monitors just to have a bigger scope for what I'm seeing. Uh, but you know, that doesn't necessarily prohibit you. You've got some screw holes on the sides here so you can mount things in. Of course, it all becomes uh, weight bearing because uh, it's all part of this axis piece here. I can quite easily talk to this camera and then I can say for instance if I walk around it I can have it follow me. Um, these charge via the USB ports on the side. Um, you just plug them into your computer or you get like a mains adapter USB and just plug it into the wall. It's got features such as uh, you can set it to do a time lapse. So on the control you, you swipe through the menus and it gives you various other options. If we're like swiping over to the right it will take us to a window that has options like uh, time lapse, uh, rotate, uh, wide angle. If I just set it to go, um, it says stop every one second. If I just hit go, it does like, uh, I think it does like a three by three grid and it basically captures that three by three. And then what it allows you to do, you sync your camera to this so it takes the pictures for you as well. And then once it's kind of done that process, you take it away into post-production and then you sync all those clips together to get a panoramic shot that you might not have been able to get otherwise. Are you done? I think I might need a heavier tripod, it's very, uh, um, I've been doing this review for quite a while, surprisingly, and I I've left this on like all day. Like I went out to lunch and everything and left the battery on and it it's been doing really well. As you can see, we're only like a bar down. If those two bars last as long as that first bar did, then I'd say it's gonna last you a whole working day. My first impressions are is that it's fun. When you actually get it balanced and you like all the, uh, you need to have your tripod, but once you got it balanced, it's like, no problems. I think it just takes a bit of calibrating. If you've got any questions regarding uh, the Ching by Feotech, then please leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Of course, leave a like, and we've got more products like this on the way that we're gonna be doing more reviews on in the near future. So hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. <laughs>